Thank you for starting the training. I've tried to make each of these modules short, which will take about an hour to an hour and a half, to make it easy to fit into your schedule. I hope you like them. When people come to our space, they usually have a few basic needs. Uh, we need to be able to steer them in the right direction. If they have a cassette and they want to make a digital file, and they only need an MP3, which is a low resolution file, they could use the Plus Deck. The Plus Deck uh, is, in, is in the PC. It's fairly easy to operate. You just put the deck in, put the cassette in the deck, and press convert. Uh, if they need a higher resolution file, like a WAV file, they're going to have to use the sound editing station. The sound editing station has Logic Studio and Reason, both of which are very powerful programs and uh, with a lot of capability. Um, two sound editing platforms on each of the machines in, the, in our space are Audacity and GarageBand. If you have a Mac, uh, GarageBand is a great choice. Uh, but Audacity works on PCs and Macs, and so I'm going to cover it first today. Or they need a keyboard, they're going to be mixing their own sound, they should use the sound station. Why would someone want to use Audacity? Well, it's open source and it's free, so that makes it very affordable. Uh, it's pretty good, it does a lot of great things, uh, there's a lot of great features in there. It's cross-platform, Macs, PCs, and Linux are also all supported. And this makes it a great tool to use in an educational setting because in educational settings, people don't have that much money, and but they need to do projects. 